Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of oil and natural gas. Um, it's looking pretty strong, uh, the commodities themselves. Some of the companies I would say are kind of lagging uh, the price, so it seems like they're getting a little bit tired. We're right at that resistance level, and I'll show you what, we're, what I'm talking about. And if the commodity keeps going up, I mean, it could maybe break through the, the area, but it, they're, they're acting like they're a little bit tired. So I'll, I'll, I'll jump in. I'll let you know what I'm seeing. And uh, we've got Texas, West Texas oil here. Uh, again, a nice strong update today. Uh, it finished and closed strong. Everything looks really good in this area here. And I don't see anything reversing it at the moment. We don't see any contractions in the opening and closing prices. It's still a buyer's game and it's still looking quite strong. Uh, natural gas pummeled higher. Just absolutely strong like bull today. Um, very strong, 13.3%, finished strong, uh, looks really good. And this was a back test here where we could potentially move on higher uh, for a little bit. XOP going up a little bit, but it's got an opening and closing price that's very, you know, basically the same. It's, it's getting a little bit tired, I think, and we'll see. I mean, if we get a large up day in oil tomorrow, maybe we can go in, but it's fighting this resistance up here. We've got some resistance that we have to go through. Uh, before I think making big moves higher. We might even pause a little bit here and move sideways. Uh, SM Energy, again, it's looking a little bit tired. It, it did not outperform natural gas or oil. It was kind of just sideways. We're trying to get through some selling pressure, I think, uh, at $34, $35. But if we can get past through this, I think it's going to look really good. Uh, CDAV's also getting a little bit of selling pressure, opening and closing prices contracting up there, especially on a huge oil. Uh, and natural gas update. And we're seeing that kind of across the sector. Uh, crew energy headed a little bit higher up 3.7%, looking quite good. Um, no changes there. CPE, a little bit of an update, just like SM and CDEV. Athabasca oil stretching its legs out, looking really good, finishing strong, up 6%, 6.8% today. Uh, looks really good. I like, I like the way this thing looks. Uh, what do we've got here, guys? Recaf. Recaf. Or recaf. I was going to say re what recalf is what I'm talking about. Um, like I thought, th this was this pattern here. If you look at it, uh, we've got the lows stepping down. It bottomed. We've got the lows stepping up a little bit. We've got a big from about this point on. This side looks different than this side. We've got big buying pressure, small selling pressure. The buyers are in control. This is a first wave up. This is a pullback of that wave. And now we're going to move into uh, probably a third leg higher, which is going to be a big move. Uh, hopefully it gets us up to 10 bucks or something like that, at least maybe even more than that. Um, nice, good 16% up day. Nice, good buying pressure. It was on volume. Um, I was a buyer all through this bottom here. And even in here, I was starting to get in. I didn't think we were going to have this last little blow off bottom, but we did. And I bought all through here. So uh, looking good. Portfolio loved it today. Um, and, and hopefully we get the momentum to continue. Uh, this thing is really volatile. So um, we could see a, a, a big move here if it can get some momentum behind it uh, and the buyers step in and keep buying this up. Uh, the last area of resistance is about where it's at. So if we get much above it, hopefully we can get the momentum to continue and we just blow right on to higher. Uh, Northern oil and gas looking okay. Small down day today or small update today, it's a black candlestick. Uh, we're probably gonna see maybe a little small down day tomorrow before heading higher. CPG is looking fantastic, it continues to go higher. Um, this one's been fun, fun ride in the portfolio. Uh, I've got a, a target price of 930 on it, and it's going right to that price with this break of an inverted head and shoulders. It doesn't mean it will stop there, I'm just saying that's probably a minimum target price. GTE, Run into a little bit of pressure up a, a percent and a half today. Uh, just a little guy. Uh, Tellurian, little guy today. Um, everything's looking okay. Pedevco getting a little bit of its legs running out, two and a half percent, finished quite strong. I like the, the size of the update is less important than how it finishes. And I like when things finish strong into closing. Uh, that's what I really like seeing. And that's this one closed very strong into the closing. Uh, this guy's got a little black candlestick here, up day, but it was, it's just a black candlestick. Uh, CRK coming up quite good. It broke out of this resistance area. 
Uh, so this we could see hopefully a run here uh, to the upside in CRK if natural gas remains strong. Uh, Sandridge looking really good, up 7%. Looks, looks very nice. Hopefully the momentum can continue. I'm liking it. A uh, little, little bit of a flat day today. It's a black candlestick for ring energy. Not really going much of anywhere. Surge energy is surging higher. This is a big move. Um, I made comments about buying it off of this low end of the channel. We should be holding on if you've done that. Uh, what I'm looking at is kind of this, this area here. You might run into some resistance there, and hopefully we can blow through that. And I can't even draw it right, guys. Let me, let me, no, that was right. It's, it's about right. There you go. Something like that. It's weird because this is going down and this one's going down up top. And then we've got uh, Tamarack uh, Valley Energy. This guy's rolling higher. Uh, looks really good to continue higher. This is a break on a big long-term, uh, big long-term. It's a big break to the upside. The volume stepping in and buying this, this looks really good uh, for a big move higher for Tamarack Valley Energy. Um, I'll stop it there. Uh, that's the energy uh, product, uh, exploration and production companies. Those are some of my favorites. And yeah, those are the ones that, that I like and own. And hopefully they, they can, continue, can continue higher. Hopefully Recaf can, can move because I, I kind of overweighted that. I, my, my position size is not correct. <laughs> and because uh, I'll talk about it in another, in another video clip of how I buy these things and what I do in, in portfolio. The, the percentages and sectors and all that. I'll do another clip on that. I'll release it maybe uh, later today. And you guys can go through that. Uh, but that's the overall sector. It looks really good from the commodity standpoint. The companies themselves, some of them are getting a little bit tired, I think. Uh, they've been moving up a lot. And I'm just seeing a disconnect between the commodity price and the leverage that the company usually has against the commodity price. So sometimes when they start to lag a little bit, they want to almost pull back and rest a little bit uh, before the next move higher. But we'll see if the commodity keeps moving higher, maybe these, maybe these will shoot higher and they'll get through these sticky points. If you guys like the analysis, give me a thumbs up. I'll subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.